Well, right. starting on uh, January 1st, there will be an avalanche of Americans who are turning 65 years old. But as thousands and thousands of baby boomers hit retirement age, their birthdays, well, they may not be all that happy. That is because Poppy Harley of CNNMoney.com, she's looking at the reasons why. And the number one retirement in the years ahead is staggering. What do we believe mm -hmm. is ahead for this group? Sure. I mean, we, we know this is what's ahead. These numbers coming to us from the census, from AARP, saying basically that it, beginning in January, in just a few days, 10,000 baby boomers, Suzanne, will turn 65 every single day for the next 19 years. Unfortunately, a lot of people are woefully unprepared for retirement. This is a combination of pretty poor uh, financial planning by the baby boomers and also the financial crisis. Both of those things converging in the last three years. I mean, let's think about it. Overall, in the last decade, the stock market has not improved whatsoever. We're just back to where we were 10 years ago. The housing market collapsed in the last three years. A lot of baby boomers were depending on the value of their home to retire on. That's not going to be the case now. Also, pensions that they may have relied on, they are all but disappearing. So the mindset now for a lot of baby boomers heading into retirement is, okay, I'll just work through retirement. Wells Fargo actually polled 2,000 people, and look what they found, that 72% of those people expect that they will work through their entire retirement. But here's the sticking point. Unemployment is near 10%. It has been stubbornly high, according to the White House, for over a year now. Where are the jobs? It's going to be even harder for people to find jobs, Suzanne, if they're 55 years old and older, and especially if they've been unemployed for a long time. Here's why. Take a listen. When you're over 55 and you've been unemployed for six months or longer, it's just that much tougher to get back into the workforce. And what that means is it makes it, you know, nothing hurts your savings more than being unemployed because you have to tap that savings. So, so it's hitting them in two ways. It's harder for people 55 and older to find jobs, and they're relying on that retirement savings to pay for their life right now. On top of that, Suzanne, older workers, according to the AARP, they told me today are facing the highest unemployment rate since the 1940s in this country. Suzanne? Well, Poppy, that's pretty dire. I mean, what, what are the options that these millions mm -hmm. of baby boomers have now? What can they do? Sure. Of course, they can work through retirement if they have a job. It's hard to save anything right now. Uh, what they need to do, first of all, what experts tell us is um, take advantage of your 401k, your IRA, really maximize those. The bottom line, though, according to retirement expert Walter Updegrave, who we spoke with today, is this is not just about smart investing. This is really comes down to saving and saving in the long run. Take a listen. For the most part, people think that retire, retiring is an investment solution. I need to pick the right mutual funds or the right stocks. But it's really a savings question. So you should be, for the most part, putting away at least 10%, probably closer to 15% of your salary. And that sounds like a very big number, but he's talking about saving that much even in your 20s and your 30s. Uh, the amount you have to save, it all has to do with when you started saving. And I want to show you something because, Suzanne, this is something a lot of people in this situation, the millions of baby boomers, many of them watching now, haven't done. They haven't plugged into their retirement calculator uh, where they stand. They need to plug in. We have one on CNN Money. There's a lot out there. Plug in your age. Plug in your income and plug in how much you have saved. That's going to show you exactly where you need to be. But the bottom line here that, that the experts say, Suzanne, is that many people in this situation turning 65 uh, in the next few years are going to have to adjust to the new normal, the new normal of retirement, which very well may not be living the way that you lived when you had a job. That said, we also need to sort of debunk one of the big myths out there of retirement, and that is that hey, Social Security won't be around for me when I retire. There's a lot of people that are 20, 30, 40 years old now that say Social Security is disappearing. That is simply not the case. We need an overhaul of the Social Security system, but it is, it is not disappearing. And in fact, the promises of Social Security to future generations are even bigger uh, than they are to the, to the current retiring generation. So that is a myth that Social Security is disappearing. That said, okay. uh, it, it's an astonishing number of people that are turning 65 a starting in January. A lot of very useful information, Poppy. And, and again, you just uh, go to that site, cnnmoney.com. You can plug your information in and, and get a sense of what you need to save. Yeah, exactly. They have a whole calculator there. And uh, it, it's never too soon to do it, Suzanne. All right.